What is up, MFers? Freaking Jack for today's video. As you can see, back behind me, I got the old boat kind of torn apart. And that's because myself and Mrs. Melican Fishing are actually going out of town. I know, shocking. We're doing some traveling. But this time, it's actually going to be on an airplane. We are heading down to Houston. If you remember last time I went to Houston, it was to kind of tour the Six Sense facility and do some fishing with Casey. And guess what? We're doing exactly freaking that this trip once again. I'm in the process of like picking out reels, don't need rods because Casey got a million six cents rods. Uh, probably don't need baits either. He's like, dude, I got a bait or two. I own a damn bait company. But I'm getting my tack ready because I'm going fishing with him first thing tomorrow morning. He's got a couple spots. He just caught a 10 pounder on a damn prototype bait the other day. And he's got another lake that has giants in it as well. So I'm freaking excited to get down there, get out of these damn warm clothes and go catch some actual slaunchy bass in some hot weather. Now, before we get down to the Houstonian and start catching some big old slaunchy Tahitian bass in today's video, I gotta tell you something Casey came to me with an idea that's freaking amazing that's gonna help you guys go out and catch more fish. He's like, I want you to go pick out five six cents baits out of your box that you have confidence in catching fish in the May, June time period of the year. Now around here in Nebraska and a lot of Midwest, May and June is like the late pre-spawn, into the spawn, post-spawn period, and then of course the it just touching on the, uh, the the early summer period. And so he wants me to pick out five baits out of my boxes here. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and I'm gonna tell you guys why that's important and something that's gonna help you guys catch more fish. Let's pick those baits out real quick. I'll tell you why it's badass, and then let's uh, let's go catch some donks. baits picked out to go catch some fish in pretty much any different type of situation I can even think of. Here's what we ended up with. So first and foremost, I wanted a bluegill colored square bill. This one right here gets a nod, a bluegill crush 50X. And then I was like, oh, we need something that goes even shallower for the muddy water guys. A lot of guys fishing oxbows, stuff in the rivers right there. Chartreuse movement, water that's less than three feet, any cover. Pa pow that's the one right there. And then I was like, well, we can't have this roundup lined up without some jigs. So we definitely need a swim jig, bluegill swim jig right there amazing during the uh, the spawn post spawn period i'll throw this all summer long but that uh that baby bream bluegill color perfect little guy right there and then i'm thinking we for another jig we need a bottom flipping type bait i didn't want a super natural color i didn't want a black and blue color i want something that's good all around so we got peanut butter jelly magic so it's brown got some blue some green pumpkin in there i actually use this color to catch some freaking giants in videos for you guys the last couple months i didn't even know about this color until i went down there Awesome, awesome color. You guys know I love throwing topwater baits, so picked up a, a bone-colored dogma bait. That's my favorite topwater bait for the post-spawn period. We got shad spawns. This guy's amazing. If you don't, I also catch them on this guy, bone-colored walking topwater bait. Let it rattle around over their heads. Pa pow. And then I was like, well, if this stuff's not working, if the bite's too tough, let's let's grab this guy right here. We got a 3 8 ounce shaky head. You can put a worm, a craw, a creature. This thing's got a wide gap hook on it. So you can put about whatever plastic on there that you want. Had to pick this guy out. So you guys might be wondering why these baits right here are significant. Well, we are actually going to sell these baits all together in one bundle. So you guys don't have to go spend hours on hours looking at all the baits and colors and everything on Six Sense Fishing to figure out what the hell I want. One of the questions I get asked more than anything is what baits do I throw right now? How do I just go out and catch some fish? These are my favorites for fishing right now and for next month. Boom, right there. Takes the guesswork out of everything. It's about a $45 retail value on the Six Cents site. We're gonna sell them for about $40. And we're gonna throw those bags all in a Six Cents drawstring bag. I've had this one for about a year. Put it through the ringer and it's held up. But yeah, totally badass. So we're gonna put those baits in that bag right there. Casey told me to name it. And I, the first thing that came to my head, very, very simple. We're gonna call it the Slaunch Sack. Now, a lot of you guys are big fans of Six Cents Fishing from watching my videos and from not watching my videos. Uh, and if you just enjoy catching bass in general, highly recommend you go pick up the Slaunch Sack. I'll link it right down below. Get in this nice, sexy bag. If you guys like this idea, we'll probably end up doing a Summer Sack as well. So I'd love to go down, pick up my Slaunch Sack. I would freaking love if you guys would grab my sack. Okay, let's go to Houston. It's 
the lake dreams are made of, Casey? That question. Looks like a good parking spot to me. All right, just got the boat launched. Um, fishing with Casey from you know the owner of Six Cents. You guys have met Casey before. He's a he's a slaunch slayer. We're gonna catch some big ones. I think there's a, a chance that we could potentially do that today. Maybe I heard from a guy. There's one or two big ones in here. But anyways, uh, they're having a damn triathlon here, and supposedly they're shutting down the entire parking lot, the only place that there's a boat ramp on the entire lake, in one hour. So we parked there and we're supposed to be off the water in an hour we might push it a little bit to like five hours um and, and just kind of sneak out the guy said we couldn't even get out right like yeah trapped us in trapped us in so we're, we gotta just stay here and fish the rest of our lives i guess or until the end of sunday we'll be out here on the boat fishing but uh yeah we're gonna get some shit tied on they can wait for us they can clear a path we'll be fine Yep, the houses definitely don't suck here. What are you thinking? You're gonna start off cranking? It's like brackish water, dude. Shit. Just had one slap right there. You got bumped already? Yeah. All right. Okay. I guess you have fish, otherwise I'd make a joke right now about how you never fished before and that you don't know what a bite feels like anymore, but you do fish now, so I can't say that. Didn't get it. In the drain right there, Casey. That's a drain. All right, frog bite, huh? I suppose I could have let him eat it. Not important. There's a lot of times. You see the bait over here? Yeah, school? I can see it flipping around. You're still in a rattle trap underneath them to mm -hmm. catch them. It sounds stupid, but. Oh, yeah. And we can get out in the middle too, where they're at, because all their trucks are parked in the middle. You gonna go talk to them? Yeah, we're gonna talk. Talk to somebody. I'm gonna catch an eight pounder off this dock real quick. Where the f we gonna go? so many brim bits. Dude, you can see them in there too. You can. That's what we're looking for today? Absolutely. All right, post spawn, they get on those brim bits. Just launched the boat into Lake of the Cotton Row, super top secret lake. Actually, I'm just kidding. This is like I've wanted to fish for a long time. Uh, giant, giant fish in here. Definitely my potential to catch my, my biggest bass. I have an 810 is my biggest bass of all time, Casey. We might break that. Today. You caught that on a damn prototype bait like two weeks ago here. <laughs> Shoot! Okay, I'm excited now. Actually, this is somewhere Bassmaster Classic was here a couple years ago. I'm jacked. Casey says we're, we're doing some post-spawn fishing. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's froggy out there. We got giant homes and whatnot. Be a good time. So this is the rig of choice. You guys don't see me throw this a whole lot, but for fishing these bluegill beds that are in about six to eight feet of water, Carolina rig, three quarter ounce weight, some clackage, liter, what, foot and a half liter? Big old creature bait. Throw it over it and drag them, I guess. We're just gonna cover some water, try to find some stuff. Might go fish some topwater frog stuff. We're not really sure. This is a cool lake though, I like this. I got a fish on. <laughs> oh shit. What's up, bud? Just wrecking fish's faces. Yay, a fish. This is why you come to Lake Conroe, isn't it? To catch biggins like this? Oh yeah. Giants? We get them fired up. Mm -hmm. We might start catching them. Yep. That's a good one. Yeah, that one ate it right. That's a big one. Could be. Yeah. Not a bad one. That's a big one. Mr. Underspin fish. He got it. Good one. That's a good one. All right, we're doing things now. Just moved out to this point. We're out off point. Casey marked a bunch of fish. This one's got AIDS. It's disgusting. 
<laughs> but uh, saw a bunch of fish down there, so this is a good bait to pull anytime you can see fish on the finder. Well, three pound guy, underspin, new color swimming bait. It's secret, I can't show you. Sorry, Casey, I wasn't supposed to show that one. That's illegal. But hey, I think we maybe found something. I, they're bass, dude. We didn't know if they were hybrids or crappie or that was a good one. marlins. That size. Those are good That'd be badass. Oh, another one. This one's shrinking. Our size went down substantially, most likely because it's not a bass. It is, in fact, oh, that's a crap. Big that's old shoulder guy craps. Call Amber. Having dinner. I was wondering why I set the hook and he moved 13 feet. That's some bitch. I could let him swim around there for a year and a half. He wouldn't coming off. Multi species, guys. So we had a little change in conditions. We were fishing out off of a point where we marked a bunch of fish and we think they were potentially crappie because that's what I caught at the end. But we might go check that out in a little bit. But it got super slick, calm, and sunny, which was supposed to be big ass storms moving in a couple hours. It wasn't really supposed to be sunny. So now we're up looking for some spawning bedding fish. Um, contrary to popular belief, even though the water is 78 degrees right now, Casey said they spawn for a long uh, time here. There's a big one, but it's there, not. There's not the big biggest there. one right there. Oh yeah, we got some algae up here, don't we? Yeah, that's not the not the one we're probably gonna catch today or want to. Take it home and eat it. Looks delicious. God, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Let's look catch that cat. Look at that flathead. Oh my God. I hit him in the face with it. <laughs> oh my god. That son of a bitch was huge. I've never seen that. How big? That was like 60 pounds. Yeah, it was pretty big. <laughs> that was big. I've never seen that up here like that. That's pretty shallow for a flathead to yeah, be. Especially in here. Yeah, it's weird. There's a big one. That was a big bass. How big? Probably five pounds. That was his bed. Look, look, look how big is that one. That's it. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's your fing tin. No, 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 no. They're right there on that bed. Oh my god. <laughs> Male and a female. Yeah, they were there. Holy. I think they'll come back. Yeah. yeah they'll come back. There's a big one right there, too. Oh, don't move, don't move. <laughs> That's the way to do it. No parking, it says. Was it on the other side of the ladder or this side? I don't know. I thought it was like right out here. That's a cool color. Got him. Yep. God, it took enough times. I've been flipping a damn creature bait. We came in this little pocket. Casey's got a big one, a big, big one over there. We just saw a couple that were real big right down here. And, uh, yeah, I've been flipping in there over and over and over and over. Finally, with this little prototype, six cents trick worm type guy. Not a bad little two pounder. Not what we were looking for. There's one about, I don't know, Casey says he's eight to 10 probably right up here. Kind of want to try to catch him. I mean, obviously, but he, him and his, his mate spooked off of it. I flipped to that guy probably 20 times, to be honest. He wanted nothing to do with the creature bait. Flipping a worm, that's all he wanted. Second time through there. Another marina? Yeah. So one? Oh, no. That's, That's a just, good one. Oh, yeah. That was a good one there, Look for the sure. On the back side. That's a 10. Oh, f That's a 10. That's a fing 10, Ben. So that's, is that their bed? That's the bed. That's He's the right here, is where the fish is. Yeah, the bed. That fing bed. Don't flip, don't flip. There he is, yeah. Use that sea dude. Some bitch. I think I found out where he grabbed it. <laughs> there he is. You got it. You got him that time. <laughs> they are bigger than you think, huh? <laughs> he might not come back and bite now. Who is this guy? Nice one. Yeah, bud. Six years later. <laughs> you know what this was? Which one's that? The one on the two flat rocks. Was it? Mm-hmm. And the other one. Took long enough. 
sweet. These fish are finicky. Yeah, catch the giant now. Man, I don't care what anybody says, fishing for those damn bedding bass can be one of the most frustrating and difficult things uh, that you can possibly do because you stare at them. They don't want to eat. They're not up there to eat. And a lot of days you just have tough freaking days on the water like we had. But hey, always a good time when I get out, do some fishing with Casey. As you can tell, I'm back home now. Um, but I got another video that was super, super fun. It actually was much more successful coming to you guys in the next couple of days from down there in Houston. Again, I'd love if you'd go pick up my Six Cents Slaunch sack. I'll link it right at the top of the description. A lot of these baits are in very limited quantities because you guys like to go sell those out, the ones that I use all the time. Um, so I'd definitely go pick that up right now before they're sold out. Of course, use the promo code MF10 to save even more freaking money. Awesome opportunity to just get a bag of baits that I use all the freaking time at a really good price as well. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video, MFers. I'll catch you very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine